five-year-old Madison boy left stranded on a school bus far from his home. The little boy is now safe and back with his family. Tony Galley spoke with his father, who's relieved but baffled at how required safety steps failed his son. I started hyperventilating. Like, I just started getting worried and panicked, and I couldn't talk, I couldn't breathe. It's more like, where is my son at? This father became panicked when five-year-old Anthony Watson boarded a school bus when his after-school program was over at Lakeview Elementary, but was not dropped off at home. Something happened, somebody took him. First thing I said, somebody took him. Young Anthony Watson was forgotten, left on the bus when it was parked here, exited through an emergency door. How did a five-year-old open the door and then to jump from that height. Authorities say five-year-old Anthony Watson was spotted by a good Samaritan here near East Rusk Avenue as he started what would have been a miles long walk home. And as his father continued to fret, this person picked up the boy. She took the child to a nearby hotel where father and son reunited. He could have been hit by a car. He could have been picked up by, luckily the lady that picked him up was our intentions was not bad. The operator of the school bus, Badger Bus, says driver training includes doing post-trip inspections and says the driver and an assistant have been fired. But the school district's contract requires buses to be equipped with child reminder systems to alert staff to any remaining child passengers before a driver can leave the bus. The bus driver don't have to go to the back of the bus. As safety questions continue, one little boy is just glad to be back home. In Madison, Tony Galley, 27 News. A Badger bus official has yet to comment on whether the electronic child reminder system was working. Both the bus company and the school district are reviewing what happened.